So when you're suffering, it's because you feel, I am Jane. I am a separate self, cut off both from the source of peace in myself, but also cut off from everyone and yes, everything. Half of me. Half? Half is suffering. In the same time, half is happiness. Well, you can't be half suffering and half happy at the same time. This is my experience. Am I, uh, am I missing something all these years? <laughs> well, if you're 50% suffering and 50% happy at the same time, in my experience, that's 100% suffering. So let's, but but however, however we we describe it, or let's let's deal with a fifty percent or whatever the percentage is of suffering, because happiness doesn't need attending to, it doesn't call for attention. We, there's nothing we need to say about it. So let's just attend to the experience of suffering, ho however it is and whenever it is that you find yourself in that condition. So the, the cause, the ultimate cause of our suffering is the belief and more importantly the feeling I am separate, I am isolated, I am alone and that essential feeling gives rise to the sense of loneliness, jealousy, fear, etc. So the remedy, the ultimate remedy for our suffering is to recognize our essential nature. Even if it seems that our suffering is being caused by what our intimate partner is or isn't doing or how or what our children are doing or our friends or whatever, even if the, the, these seem to be the causes of our suffering and I'm not <coughs> suggesting that there isn't a place for attending to those issues that there is. But they are never the ultimate cause of our suffering. If we want to go to the root of our suffering, we have to go to the root of the one who suffers. You have to go back again and again and again to your essential self. That wasn't a thank you that comes from satisfaction. <laughs> yes, because I, I know that uh, Jane is not real and the suffering is not real. What? No, 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 no. If you are suffering, to all intents and purposes, Jane is real. And your suffering is real. In fact, it would be more accurate to say, if we were suffering, that Mary seems not to be real that Mary is an idea, but in all honesty, not someone that I am in contact with. In fact, I am suffering precisely because I have lost contact with her. So if we are suffering, don't avoid the opportunity of exploring your suffering by washing a veneer of Advaita over it and saying, my suffering isn't real. My separate self isn't real. If you are suffering, it is real. Yes, but since I I like to to be in suffering, so since you, I'd like to suffer. Well, that's fine. If you like to suffer, <laughs> I I don't want to deprive you, <laughs> you. of your pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. It's real, no? 